Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Subnautica. Now if you recall, hopefully you do, or if not, if you're new here, we're going to go get some resources so we can build ourselves a weapon to surpass Metal Gear, also known as the Cyclops, or Cipron, Pronsu, one of the above. <laughs> So, just gotta find that cave that has all the fun stuff in it. I have no idea where it is. We'll find it. We will find it. And when we do, all shall bow before the might of the prawn. So, in case you guys didn't watch the previous Minecraft video, I gotta add a little bit of a disclaimer here. Um, I thought that decreasing from uh, seven uploads a week to five would really help out, but I literally am just now getting time to actually recording it. It's Sunday night. So, rather than recording on the weekend like I was hoping, that did not happen. So, um, I don't know how sustainable daily uploads are going to be, um, even on weekdays, just as a heads up. So, but until that day happens, I'll give you guys an ample heads up for that change. Um, I'll, I'm going to try to stick with the schedule as faithfully as possible. But just from experience already, and just this semester is going to really drag me through the mud, it feels like. Because none of it's um, things that I'm good at. It's all like writing and whatever. Which is a little bit of a problem. So, on the bright side though, it all should really ease up. Um, like five weeks in, which or this is the fourth week starting now, so hopefully um, things will get easier because um, one of my classes will actually end because it's a one credit module and that will be so, 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 so helpful to have that out of the way because then I'll have this massive break on Thursdays that's like four hours in between two classes to just sit in the student union building and um, get other work done that normally I wouldn't have time to do because I'd be working on that class. So, where is the cave entrance at? It's gotta be somewhere, right? No, that's not it. How am I having such a hard time finding it? Like, last time I just kept running into it, but this time it's like, oh no. Here we go. Perfect. There we go. Just what I wanted. Alright. All right, let's go. Cool. All right, now that everything is two kilometers away and we are officially stranded, let the fun begin. Uh, 
All right, so we just need to break a lot of these shale outcrops, and then we'll be good to go. And this will also restock us on gold, too, which is really nice. This is exactly where I wanted to be. Perfect. We're actually getting a lot more than I thought we were going to get. There is a lot here. Okay, we can only get a little bit more. Um, I'm going to avoid getting lithium for a little bit. And I guess that's not really a choice, is it? I'm hoping for more diamond. There we go. Which we're going to need more of, but I don't know if that's going to happen. Hmm. I guess I'll just eat, or not eat, use the, uh, the med pack there. Nice. Oh, perfect. That was probably the best luck I could have had with that. All right, let's head back to the Cyclops now, because we have the resources that we need. Now we're going to travel back home. And then, well, home in quotes, I guess. And then build ourselves the weapon to surpass Metal Gear. Do you guys ever just, like, wonder if what you're doing is the right thing or not? I think I'm going through, like, an existential crisis or whatever, because I have the same conversation in a Minecraft video. So, I think I'm having a little bit of doubts in the whole programming pathway right now, just because I think what's happening is, is that I'm just overworking myself. And... Oh, oh, no, 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 no. <clears throat> that kind of hurt. I think I'm just overworking myself right now because I just, I, I mean, I don't know. You know, it would probably help a lot more if I actually ate real food. Because I usually go without eating and maybe if I actually had food for breakfast, things might be different. But who knows? Probably someone who actually knows what they're talking about. All right, let's head back. All right. And now we head back. Slowly. I've got like a really weird memory from when I was like three years old. And uh, it was the, the first house I remember being in. I remember having like a lot of really weird dreams that night. Um, one of them was like little red spiders getting into my, getting into a baby's crib, which I think was supposed to be me. Just weird stuff like that, but... I remember I woke up and I swear I heard like a deep voice 
telling me something, and as the years went by, I forgot what it said, but I think it demanded something, because it was very, like, forthcoming. I remember I got up, and I was, like, you know, burst into tears, and I ran, you know, to my parents and whatever, and... But I, I remember the voice being, like, clear as day. And it's just a really weird memory. And with me being as skeptical as I am, I want to say that it could have been, like, sleep paralysis or something like that. But even, no matter how skeptic I can be, no matter how analytical I am, I, I swear that what I heard that night was was not in my head. And I don't know. I was three. I could have been imagining things, but whatever. <laughs> All right, we're here. I just watered down memory lane there. Oof. That was not a fun trip, I'll tell you that. Here, let's, um... Oh, we gotta put stuff away first. Let's plant those, um, the melons. So... Or maybe not, but whatever. Okay, we're gonna build a locker and, um, you know, expand upon things. So, um, yesterday was probably the most rewarding thing to happen, like, possible. So, I've been telling, um, you know, my friends from school and whatnot about the fast food like experience that I had and how terrible it was and none of them would believe me you know they just thought they were kind of like funny sitcom stories that I were telling as like you know fake sketch jokes it wasn't until last night that they realized that I was telling the truth because it turns out um one of the girls that was with us um that night when we were all kind of hanging out worked there about a month after I quit and literally had some of the same stories that I did about how the manager would, you know, cheat on his wife with some of the employees and all that stuff. And it, it just, it was just vindication that all the things that I had been telling for, you know, X amount of um, years, you know, is, is accurate. What is going on? Okay, I was just having a little bit of trouble there. All right. There, we were dealing with some knocks and I wanted to get rid of it. All right. So the prawn suit requires a Two diamond, two lead, one enameled glass, aerogel, and pastel ingots. Alright. Let's get into it. So, the stalker tooth should be in this one. Maybe not. Okay, we have rubies. Titanium. Oh, what's right there? That. Lead. Um, pastel ingot, lithium right there, nice. Oh, cool, we actually have glass right there too. What I just put in there that didn't need to go in there, I think lead. Okay, there's something I just walked by that I needed, that I need to have in here, diamond. Okay. 
All right, let's go refine these resources. I'm gonna sleep good tonight. I can feel myself really tired right now, and that's a perfect feeling. All right. Oh, I gotta, I gotta make the pastel ingot. I need, I need more lithium for that. Is that even the right way of thing? Plasteel, not pastel. That's just another example of my dyslexia right there. Plus steel, plus steel, plus steel, plus steel, plus steel, plus steel, pastel. <laughs> Nice. All right. Actually, let's get everything ready to go. We need more, let's see, we need more titanium. Um, advanced wiring kit, benzene, titanium, and lithium. An advanced wiring kit needs... Uh, computer chip, which is made of table coral, gold, and copper wire. So we just need more table coral then. And copper wire. But we do have a lot of titanium, which is a good thing. So... Alright, so we're going to need table coral and copper. So there's a gold we're gonna need right there. That's good. There's the benzene. Let's see, what else do we need? Okay, we need more diamonds. Um, and we just need, basically we just need titanium in the advanced wiring kit and then we're good to go. So let's go get that stuff that ran real fast. Should probably just kick the scanner room on to finding the uh, the limestone croplets. All right. Of course. That actually shouldn't be too difficult to get my little greedy hands on. Or maybe it is. Huh. You know, you are not nice. It's almost like there's like a level, like a layer of stuff that I don't know about that just wants to tease me. Please be copper. Yes. Oh. Okay, now we just need table coral. Cool. All right. Let's go do some crafting. Nice. All right, and advanced wiring kit. So we have to go grab that wiring kit from downstairs. I guess it's technically down the ladder, but whatever. Cool. All right. And we're going to go and park it.
Let's see. All right, I need the titanium. I have the song Cradle by Suburban stuck in my head right now. Oh, well, I was thinking of diamonds. Am I going to need anything else or am I good to go? Probably going to need more lithium. Yeah, I'm going to need a little bit more lithium. So we're going to put that battery on the charger up there. And then we're going to go and get some lithium. I'm kind of surprised that you can't make lithium based batteries in this. Like they have a little bit better um, longevity than the acid batteries. Let's go make some cyborg robot arms. Oh, wrong fabricator. This one. Wait. Oh, uh, storage modules. Yeah, I could probably get some of those for the, uh... Let's see. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna need some for this. So it takes lithium as well. So what we're probably gonna do is after we craft the prawn suit, we're just gonna get some more storage modules. So I could probably just pull them out of the uh, Seamoth here and call it good. So I don't think we're gonna be using the Seamoth anytime soon. So Oh, well, I mean, huh, that would have been good to know that all that, that all that stuff was in there. <sighs> what does it take to make, um, do I need titanium? No, because all the titanium is managed in there. Okay, what does it take to make the magnite? Okay. All right, let's keep emptying out that Seamoth um, pocket there. Cool. So we're just gonna craft that last module and put it in here, because of course we are. And then we're gonna go and um, Head over to the Vehicle Crafting Center. And... It is time. Oh. Oh, I didn't craft all my aerogel. I thought I did. Huh. Okay. I guess not. Okay, and none of the stuff is also planted either. Interesting. Huh. Does it take, um, does aerogel take two? No, so I should have another one somewhere. Did I leave it on the crafter in the... Unlikely. Because I know I had two, um... Oh. Huh. 
Huh. All right. Well, hey, we got it. Okay. Now it's time. Sure, sure, whatever. I know what I'm doing. I know to stay myself in control and not overreact at all the stuff I'll have access to while using this. Nice. I crafted the wrong arm. I crafted the wrong arm. That's why I only had one arrow gel. Ugh. My disappointment is immeasurable. All right. How am I gonna dock you up there? I don't think my jump jets are that good. Oh, no, they are. Okay. Come on. Come on. There we go. Um. Um, hmm. All right, now I have to work with the uh, other portion of it here. Let's give it a nice. There we go. Not bad. Color needs to be different though. All right, so I need to grab lithium from the Cyclops as well as some more titanium. In the meantime, let's fix the color. That'll do. <sighs> oh, I cannot believe I crafted the torpedo arm instead of the drill arm. And it looks like I don't have enough titanium to cope with that mistake. Shoot. All right, let's go put out um, a scan search for uh, metal salvage real fast. And then we're gonna go and make ourselves a cool robot arm that has a cool grapple hook on it. Then we're gonna go park it in the, um, after taking some nice pictures of it, of course. All right. Well, 
Why can't I build it? Oh, I gotta scrap it first. And grappling arm. Hmm. Yeah, I like the color on that. Let's make it more of a dark blue instead. There we go. There we go. No, it's still too... Uh, it's still too blue. It's a lot easier when I have a hex tool on me to actually work with this stuff instead. Why is it... It's too purple. That's what it is. That's better. There we go. All right, come on. Come on. There we go. Just what I wanted. Wait, I don't think that's right, actually. Nope, that's right. Perfect. This is what I wanted. Alright, let's go use the Seamoth for some decorative lighting. Park Mr. Moth. And return the prawn suit. Well, not really returning, but bring the prawn suit to the Cyclops for the first time. Come on. Come on. There we go. Nice. Alright, well there we go. We have established that we have a weapon to surpass Metal Gear. Thank you all for watching and have a fantastic